Ooh, hello, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Capricorn? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Capricorn. So I'm definitely seeing you guys are currently in hermit mode. There could be something that you're wondering about or someone is wondering about you. Uh, feeling left out in the code if this is someone that you're dealing with. Um, but I'm definitely seeing if this is regarding you guys' energy where you've been feeling kind of like isolated on your own here. They're really wanting you to embrace this period um, because now is the time for you to focus on your self-growth, your self-healing. -heal things that you're wanting to change in your life and what actions you need to take in order to change those things in your life. I'm definitely getting like challenged in times, but you guys will easily overcome this. It's just needing to embrace this moment and take the necessary actions that you're being guided to take. The challenge here is the page of wands. Um, so you guys are needing to understand. Some of y'all are wondering why certain people are acting in a particular way towards you. Um, and it's like, without cause being unprovoked you have some people like antagonizing you or just doing things to disrupt your peace of mind here um and some of you guys are like trying to figure out like what's up with this why are they acting like that but really what you're not seeing is this like the negative energy within them like they have some dark spirits within them and it's not necessarily that these people are uh chasing you away it's really your spirit guides guiding you away from certain people and it's because they don't mean you any like they don't mean you good um you have people who truly desire to bring harm upon you and that's the real reason why you've been separated from some people here yeah the five of cups as well you have i'm really getting like this energy from you because there's something it's not even on the horizon. It's like it's here. Like you're right there. Uh, with the Five of Cups energy. Because I'm really getting some of you guys are in this energy of like feeling alone. Feeling on your own. Not having the support that you need. And it's like really challenging times for you. But there's something that's coming in for you. It's like right here. But right now, you're just trying to figure out how to get through this challenging period in your life, what you're currently dealing with. Yeah, the Six of Cups in reverse. So this is talking about you overcoming some... Uh, I'm getting immaturity for one, but also it's like some past situations. So there are some connections that you are outgrowing, whether it's family, friends, or romantic interests. You're outgrowing particular situations. Uh, you're maturing here. So what used to resonate with you in the past is no longer resonating with you. And this is all, all of this is tying into each other with you withdrawing your energy or having to withdraw your energy from particular situations because something's not right with some people that you at some point were entertaining in your life and they're really trying to get you to this point where you don't even resonate with that energy anymore like you can't be around it because it just doesn't you don't vibe with it anymore I'm really getting, you have some people here that you were dealing with in the past. They just did not understand the mission. You were, these were people that at some point you were either collaborating with or 
you wanted to collaborate with some people here, but they just did not understand the mission. So it was pretty much you were taking on all the responsibility of a particular situation while some people kind of stood by. But it's really this energy of you staying focused and grinding, doing what you need to. But you, the whole point of you doing something was for the team. So whether it's like you were doing something, you were grinding for your family, you were grinding for your friends, you were doing it for love, you were doing something here and it was supposed to be a team. It was supposed to be a team effort, but at the same point, your whole mindset was I'm doing it to put my people in a better place, me and my people in a better place than where we've been. So some of y'all, whether it was work related as well, you was working your ass off in order to get the job like back on track here. There was definitely something that you were putting a lot of hard work and labor towards, but it was all, it was for the greater good. It wasn't, you weren't, you didn't have yourself in mind when you were doing this. You were thinking about how big of a blessing this could be if we all put work towards this, or if I continue to put work towards this and how it could change your lives around. The issue is, you had some people that were really just trying to distract you from building a better life for you and them. That's the crazy part is the same people that you were working hard to bring these blessings in for were trying to sabotage what you were working towards. Um, I'm really getting they became intim intimidated at a certain point because they began to realize that you actually had the power to manifest something here or you actually had the power to make something happen. Um, there was something that they saw that you were putting efforts towards or it was like at some point something took place and they realized, oh wow, no, Capricorn can really make something happen. And they began to really second guess um, the things that they were saying about you. And they began to look at you differently. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse as the energy that you're moving towards. I got these. The Knight of Cups in reverse talks about a situation that you're really excited about, but things don't turn out the way that you were expecting. Um, it, if it's a romantic interest here, then it's someone that you will be excited about with this person ends up disappointing you. This is the type of person that like spreads their love all over the place. Why is the Knight of Cups uh, the energy that Capricorn is moving towards? The Hierophant. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Is this someone who wants a commitment? Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? The Hangman. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Someone wants to take you off the market. Um, I'm definitely saying there's this energy of someone that you're moving towards and it doesn't, it looks like you're not interested in this person. Quite possibly it's because this person is already caught up in another commitment or I'm really getting this person is already caught up in another commitment. And the commitment that they're caught up in is with this nine of pentacles and reverse energy. So this is someone who's very codependent, someone who's very superficial, someone who could be using them just for their finances and their resources here. But, um... I'm really getting like, you're not checking this person out at all because it's too much. And this is not what you're manifesting. It's like, no, you, like the energy that I'm getting from you is I've been through enough already. I'm not going to put up with this type of nonsense here. Why is this significant as the energy that, is, uh, that Capricorn is moving towards? Why is this significant? as the energy that Capricorn is moving towards. Why are you bringing this up? The star in reverse and page of pentacles in reverse. 
with the king of wands. So this person is determined to get out of a bad situation to come towards you with the king of wands energy. Uh, the page of pentacles and the star in reverse. Um, the thing is, is that I it's just confirming that this, like the energy that you're in is, you don't see this going anywhere. And it's because this is someone that's already in a, commit, a committed relationship. You don't see the potential in this and you just don't see it going anywhere. You don't see this connection fulfilling your wishes, but they're saying regardless, this person is determined to get out of the line of fire and to charge towards you. Okay, let's see how else things are playing out. We'll leave that as a side note for whoever that resonates with. It seems like that's been some sort of like repeated message I'm not sure what's going on with the collective, but it seems like that's been like a repeated message that's been going around. I'm not going to lie, I'll be glad when it kind of breaks. Okay. So I'm definitely, oh my gosh, nine of swords. I'm definitely seeing someone in a relationship, whether it's you Capricorn or someone that, uh, someone that's coming towards you, someone feels the need to sleep with one eye open. Um, they are in a very toxic relationship. They're with someone that they cannot trust and it's affecting them. It's affecting their health overall, emotionally and physically here and mentally i'm definitely getting the energy that this person has been dealing with is someone who's saying that they are done um like this is the type of person who lies or cheats all the time they're saying i'll never cheat on you again i'll never lie to you again i'll never do something again but it's only manipulation here because then they do it again so someone has found themselves in some sort of vicious cycle and they're tired of being this energy of anxious about when is this person going to do this again? When are they're tired of feeling this way? So that's why they're ready to get out of this conflict here. Because they're tired of the arguments, they're tired of the fighting. They don't want this anymore. is Capricorn being viewed as the five of swords the ace of wands and the two of wands here someone is trying to figure out what you're up to someone is definitely viewing you as walking away and headed towards some sort of passionate new beginning here and this person is keeping an eye on you as well whoever this is it seems like it's some sort of past energy because they're watching you or they're at least trying to keep an eye on you to see like where who are you headed towards because you're headed towards something new so they're trying to figure out who has your attention so you're viewing this is definitely a past energy here you're viewing someone from the past as like you fooled me once, you're not going to fool me again. You have established boundaries with this person. You've spoken your truth here and you're standing your ground. So you're definitely not willing to go down that road again with this person. What is your advice for Capricorn? Please and thank you, advice for Capricorn. judgment and the seven of wands the two of swords so they're letting you know someone is about to face some sort of harsh judgment here and they don't want you in the midst of this so this is going back to the original message some of you guys who are dealing with uh situations where 
you feel like you're intentionally being isolated uh, from a group of people or people uh, that you at some point used to be close to, whether it's family or friends. Some of y'all could feel like you're being isolated at work as well. They're saying that this is for a reason because there are some people who are about to face some sort of harsh judgment here. And you were not meant to be in the midst of this. So because you you wouldn't just leave a particular situation, it's almost like they had to reveal something within these people like that energy within them um, in order to get you out of this situation and out of the line of fire here. Yeah, because you're coming into your nine of cups, so you're going to have some sort of wish fulfillment here. And part of the... Uh, Part of this, part of these, I was about to say this person, but part of these people, part of their karma is to watch you um, be exalted here, uh, to have some sort of wish fulfillment, to see you um, happy. Because they wanted to block, uh, block that from you. Be graceful in movement and action. So they're asking you not to allow some people to get you out of character because some of y'all may be tempted. It's like there could be some fights that break out, some arguments here, but they're wanting you to be true to yourself, uh, to be graceful and not to allow these people to um, get you out of character here. I'm definitely saying they're wanting you to be fearless and to be strong, to speak your truth, but it's a way to do it. That's the thing. Yeah, because they're they're acknowledging that you've been through a lot. You've learned a, it's definitely some sort of snake here. I'm going to tell you what, some of y'all are dealing with some sort of the, like it's a false prophet or a, a false spiritual leader. Someone, it's like there's a snake here and part of their disguise is fooling people into believing that they have some sort of connection with the divine, but this person is far from God. So there, and that's part of the reason why someone here is about to face some sort of harsh judgment because not only are they being deceptive, but they're also lying on the divine's name as well. They're saying that they have some sort of, it's, it's woe to the false prophets. Uh, because there are some people who are using God's name and they are far from God. Their intentions are far from God. And judgment is being called upon these people. Some of you guys have encountered that type of person. Um, because they're definitely saying the snake here is a shaman, uh, which is a shaman who is someone who claims to be like a healer, but they also claim to be uh, spiritually uh, in tune with the divine here. Shaman also has the ability to pretty much um, astral travel as well, but they're able to um, move through different um universes here someone could be saying that they have the ability ability to do all that and they could be they could also be saying like they operate out of light and love but they're not they're very deceptive and i'm seeing the clock i'm seeing a clock here as well although it's not a clock um but it's the what i'm getting from that message is this person's time is up and i'm really getting like you were able to see right through this person you were able to see the lies and deceit and this person could intentionally try to destroy your reputation uh to continue to carry on some sort of facade here to continue to fool some people because they didn't want them to believe or they didn't want them to know the truth some of y'all this is just in general because some of y'all have been spreading the truth or you've been, yeah, you're moving beyond ancestral patterns. I'm really getting part of that is because you guys are being bold 
um, in your actions and standing in your truth versus like your ancestors were not bold to stand in their truth or like to speak on some sort of truth here. I'm definitely seeing there's some sort of battle coming up here, but the way that you're going to win um, is to be true to who you are. Um, your actions speak louder than words. Just by people watching your movements here and how graceful you are, that is your fight alone. Because whoever this snake is, they're about to be exposed. Open your mind, connect to the divine within. I'm really getting that as part of you guys' spiritual mission here is you guide people to open their mind and to, uh, to connect with the divine um, on their own and to not seek man's guidance here, but to, it's, it's really you're teaching them that you don't need a man to help you to connect with the divine. You have the ability to do that on your own. And there's someone here that wants people to feel like they need to go through them in order to be connected to the divine. And that's a lie. This person is a false prophet. They're lying and deceiving God's people. And he's not going to stand for it. He's basically saying that this person's time is up. He's calling judgment upon this uh, this person or these people, whoever this is in this case. Some of y'all, this may just be in general, which is kind of is really intense for us to be coming through you guys' reading. Um because I'm really getting this strong message that this is like in general, but it's like for it to come through you guys' reading, it's pretty intense. But it must be someone here who's very spiritually in tune. Um, you're very, like you're, you're meant to guide people to open their mind, to teach them how to connect with the divine on their own because the times are coming where you can't rely on a man to tell you how to connect with the divine then you're going to be deceived you're going to be misled and it's been going on but it's becoming more evident and i'm really getting that you're a spiritual leader like you're part of this spiritual warfare to help teach people how to connect on their own and it's going to intimidate some false prophets out here who have been teaching people you have to do this you have to go through man you have to do certain things in order to connect with god well even if you go back to what the bible said when jesus was crucified he tore that that veil like at that point people man was able to have a connection with god but that's what he that was his whole point he was teaching people you don't need to go through these spiritual leaders you don't need to go through another man you can have your connection with god on your own because man will lie to you man will deceive you man will mislead you they're going to tell you things to they're going to have you doing things to benefit them unless they're a true man of God. But how can you tell if you need someone else to tell you what to do and how to connect with the divine? So they're wanting someone to be more, uh, to be more sure in their spiritual gifts here. The number nine is coming through so something is coming to an end and it's something is being completed here expression expect express your truth some of you guys are definitely some spiritual leaders here you guys are uh strong spiritual war uh, warriors here you're very wise this is not like you're an old soul. This is not your first go round. Because there's something that you're expressing that's going to trigger people to open their mind in order to connect with the divine. 
but they're wanting you to express your truth. Don't worry about someone else judging you. Don't worry about someone else trying to punish you or come after you. God is saying they're going to have to deal with me. Anyone who tries to come after you is going to have to deal with me. And they don't want to do that. He's intentionally, it's, it's really giving me, and I don't care like what religion you are. I'm a spiritual person, but I was raised, like I, I was raised to read the Bible. You know, I was raised in Christianity, Jehovah Witness. Um, I was raised Southern Baptist, you know, every Sunday I was up at church. But reading the Bible on my own, it opened my eyes to more truths and it led me to look deeper into things. Um, because what I'm getting is really like with Moses here and he went to Pharaoh and Pharaoh was this uh, powerful, he was the most powerful person in Egypt. And here you have Moses come in, he has a speech impediment, he stuttered. And he was like, who am I? I was born a slave and I was placed into this family. Who am I to come to this man and to tell him to set God's people free? You know, who am I to do all this? What power do I possess? And truly, he didn't possess any power. It was all God just working through him. So I'm really getting like whoever this is for. It's really God letting you know he's working through you. It's not you. Now, if you, it, it's not for you to take the credit. It's so that people will acknowledge that he is working through you. I mean, this message, because it, it, it was so much in this, but I wanted to like focus on a particular group but the thing is is like the message that I was getting this is more intense than just the normal readings that I get the thing is it must be a Capricorn out there you have strong spiritual uh, abilities here there is something uh, very powerful about your presence uh, presence is something very powerful about your spirit and you know that there's a high calling upon your life. Like you were meant to guide, you were meant to be a guide of God's people here to spread the truth, to open people's eyes before judgment day. Because the message is clear, time is running out. This is a deep ass message. People don't see it. People do not see this is a deep message. And I never even try to go this deep, but um, this is where it's going. And I'm not going to sit up here and sugarcoat anything because then I have to answer to God. And trust me, I fear God. I'm, I'm not the type, like, I, I, it's not that I'm, like, terrified of God. I understand the relationship between, like, that God wants to have with his children. But I'm not going to sit up here and disobey a message that I'm clearly getting that he's saying. Because normally, I'm going to tell you, it's spirit guides, this energy. When I get messages from God, it's usually through my dreams. But I'm clearly getting a message, a message from the divine for someone here. Because the message is clearly people are not seeing that time is up. Judgment day is upon us. Like this is deep as hell. And someone is needing to awaken to their spiritual gifts here what they're meant to do, which is to open the eyes of people in order for them to connect to the divine. It's something that you're needing to express. We have nine leaders to 10. And then going back, here goes pyramids. It's like going back and confirming like the message that I was picking up on. I'm not saying go out there and try to be Moses, try to imitate Moses, but there's a message for someone here about you needing to speak your truth.
people do not see. They're not seeing the truth here. And it's time for them to wake up. Some of y'all are worried about the wrong things. When you have a strong uh, calling upon your life and what you're focusing on is not even of importance here. It's like the sacrifices that were made. Show strength. I cannot make this stuff up. Receive guidance. Connect with the heart of the earth here. Some of y'all will benefit by being out in nature. We all, I mean, either way, we all benefit by being out in nature. Show strength each day. Ground your energy. The way that you guys are grounding your energy is being out in nature. That's part of your cleansing here. But you guys need to be more mindful of your spiritual cleansing. Because things seem to be off balance. And in order to get it back into balance, you're needing to be mindful of your, uh, your diet, meditating, uh, burning your incense here, smudging is you guys are needing to be more mindful of your spiritual cleansing. Someone here, because I'm gonna tell you what, someone I mean, really, the message I'm getting is like, why are you afraid of some people here on earth when you need to be doing something that God Himself is guiding you to do? Who are they to stand face to face to God? Like, Whoever you're dealing with here, you're giving them more power than the divine, like the divine is working through you. And it's like, you're telling God, because I'm really getting like that scenario with uh, Moses, like, who am I to come to Pharaoh and tell him this? And God is like, well, who the fuck is Pharaoh to come to me and tell me anything? You know, you're worried about Pharaoh, but... You need to be worried about me. You know, it's like God is more powerful than whoever you're worried about here. Some of y'all, it's like someone is worried about what someone can do. They may be in a position of power, but they have no influence over God. So this is definitely not going to resonate with every acceptance. You guys are someone is needing to accept their spiritual gifts here. Some of y'all are not even accepting the spiritual gifts that you have been blessed with because you're more worried about how people are going to perceive you. friendship as well i'm really getting some of y'all you're more concerned about being friends with certain people than accepting some sort of spiritual gift here and being of service to the divine which is helping you to it is it's being of help to others here by opening their eyes to the truth Love who you are, where you are, where you've been, and where you are going. I'm really getting this strong message of acceptance here. Meditation helps you stay focused on your path. For when you lose focus, you wander onto another's path. So they're definitely wanting you to accept your calling and not to try to find, not trying to become someone else, not trying to fit in with the masses, but knowing that you are not meant to fit in you're meant to stand out and you're meant to be some sort of guide here for others again nature and care required i'm really getting some of you guys needs to be more mindful of um 
how you're taking care of yourself, how you're uh, really nurturing yourself. It's, it's like right now is the time for you to really focus on taking care of yourself holistically here and really grounding your energy. Um, getting strongly, being out in nature is going to benefit you guys a lot because some of you guys are going through a strong transformation here uh, where things are significantly about to change in your life. It's like you're not going to be able to deny uh, your spiritual abilities. Because I'm getting whoever this is for. It's not like you're out here bragging about your spiritual abilities. Um, this is something that you kind of shy away from. And they're not wanting you to do that anymore. So that's why you're about to notice like energy is becoming more intense. And it's because of the transformation that you're going through. But I'm going to leave that there. I'm sending you much love and light. Please hit that like button, subscribe to uh, the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.